Hello and welcome back to another tech tutorial. Today we are going to be bypassing the FRP or Google account lock on this Huawei Y560 phone. This tutorial is for educational purposes only. Before we begin, there's a step that we need to do first before powering on the phone. You will need a micro SD card, any size will do. In the description you'll find the link to some files that you'll need to put on your micro SD card for later on. These files are shown on screen here. You will need to download these two files and place them straight onto the micro SD card. Once that's done, place the card back in the phone and we are ready to begin the tutorial. Firstly, power up your phone and connect to your Wi-Fi network. This is very important. You don't need a SIM card in the phone for this tutorial at all. Now make sure the FRP lock is in place by just continuing through setup. Once you see the Google account lock screen, this is where the magic happens. In the text field where you enter your email address, tap there and type anything random. Once you are happy with the gibberish you just typed, go ahead and tap and hold on that. Now on the keyboard there's a little hand that's pointing up. This is the touch pal icon. Go ahead and tap on that hand to bring up a menu on the keyboard. Go to the tab More, and now click on Store. Ensure that you are still connected to Wi-Fi at this point. If this crash fixed message comes up, just tap the X at the top right corner to get rid of it. Now we are in the TouchPal store. We don't want anything here except an advertisement. You will need to wait up to about two minutes for an advertisement to appear. It's normal for it to take its time to load everything. So anything that comes up in this massive space is fine. So in my case, here is an IBM ad. Go ahead and tap anywhere here. It will lag a little bit, but don't worry, that's all normal. Loading will show a few times and then finally the advertisement will open in a new window. Now you need to tap and hold on some text to select it, just anything is fine. Once you have selected some text, a toolbar will appear at the top of the phone. There is a magnifying glass, this is what we need to tap on to continue. Tap on it and it will bring up a new window. At the search bar at the top of the browser, delete whatever is filled in there, in my case it's VMware. Because we need to type in files, if anything touch power related comes up, just dismiss it. Now on the keyboard, press enter to finish typing and then press on the down arrow at the top right of the keyboard to minimize the keyboard. You should now see files with a little folder. Go ahead and click that. A prompt will appear, just accept this. Tap on local at the top right corner and then select SD card. Scroll through the contents to find the first application called Android 5 Google Account Manager. Tap on the file to install it. First it will ask you to unblock it, so just tap unblock. Now click on install and another prompt will appear, just accept this. Now just wait for the application to install. Once it's done, click on done and it will take you back to your files. Now you need to find the file com.rootjunkie.frp bypass. Tap on this file to open it. Tap install and wait for it to finish installing. Once it's done, click on open. It will now open up a window that says retype password. Press the square soft key on the bottom right hand corner of the phone to bring up a small window that says browser sign in. Go ahead and tap on that. You will now need to input your Google account details to set this phone up. So go ahead and put your Gmail account in. Once you have done this, just click next and it will sign you in on the phone. The window will disappear once it's done. Now press the back soft key on the bottom left of the phone to go all the way back to the original setup screen. Start at the connect to Wi-Fi screen and press next. This next process takes some time, so just be patient. It will say account added 
at this point you can now go ahead and set up the phone like it's brand new. You can choose to set the date and time, but for this I'm just skipping through it. And there you have it, the FRP bypass is successfully completed and you can now use the phone as normal. This works on the Huawei Y560L02, which is an Australian model running Android 5.1 Lollipop. This should work on other variants of the Y560 phone, but I can't be too sure. Just follow these fairly easy steps and give it a go yourself. If it works on another Huawei, that's a bonus. Drop a like and a comment if this worked for you. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be.